Welcome to Tassel Tuesday. Be sure to check my description box for our other collaborators. I showed you a picture of the pillowcase that I bought because it had these cute little tassels. And so I went ahead and I cut the tassels off of it. So I got a bunch of tassels in cute colors. And so we'll decide what we're gonna do with those. Hi friends. Well, it's Tassel Tuesday, and I wanted to create something using some of these little tassels. And in the beginning of the video, I showed you that at the thrift store, I bought a pillowcase, and it was a white pillowcase, and it had uh, these little tassels on both of the ends. And so I thought for Tassel Tuesday, even though I didn't make these, I thought, you know what? Let's go ahead, I cut them off of the pillowcase. The rest of the case is actually in the wash right now, and I might use that for a bigger tassel if I can. But otherwise, if I can't, you know, depending on the fabric, some, some fabrics don't tear easily, so I don't like to bother with them. I could use it for something else. But I thought we would just go ahead and try to use these and create something with these. I gathered up some scraps from some projects that I worked on not too long ago, and so I thought what we would do is create maybe a Valentine's, and like a Valentine greeting, and then see how we could use one of the tassels on the Valentine greeting. So I had this doily, and I went ahead and coffee dyed it, so we're gonna use this. And I really like this scrap that I had laying around. So I would like to use this on our Valentine doily. Oops, I'm gonna move these so you guys can see this a little bit better. Get these kind of out of the way, I'll move this here. Sorry if I was out of frame for a second there. So while we're waiting for that to dry, I'm going to, see we have a tear here, and so I'm gonna go ahead and use this fabric piece and I'm going to glue it. I just wanna shape it right. Then we adhere the little fabric piece there like it's an embellishment. So let's do that. Now I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this paper to it right here. And I think that that should be enough reinforcement so that, you know, we don't have any problems in the future with the paper tearing any further. All right, so this is basically how our little Valentine is gonna look, but now we're going to go ahead and add one of our little tassels to it. That's pretty cute. Okay, so we're gonna add this tassel right here. I apologize for my shaded lighting. It's the environment that I'm working in today. As most of you know, I'm redoing my family room so that I can convert it into my crafting space. And there's just a lot of stuff going on over there right now. So I'm kind of crafting in other rooms in the house, which is fine, I don't mind doing that, but um, you know, sometimes my lighting or, you know, stuff like that might not be perfect. All right, so here we've got, this is what we've got for our Valentine's card so far. We're gonna go ahead and leave this open until it's completely dry. And actually, we're gonna flip it over because now we can work on the inside of our card. All right, I found this little Valentine's Day paper that I have in the shape of a tag, and it says La La Love. So I'm gonna go ahead and place that right about inside, and it will end up bending in half when we close up our card. All right, friends, here we go. I have adhered the card, well, it's, it's thin paper, basically. And I've adhered it into the center of this. Now we're gonna find our original crease, which is right here. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and bend this and close it. I'm hoping it won't crease it too weird. Um, I mean, if it does, it does, whatever. But hopefully it'll be nice and kind of clean. All right, so this is how the card will look on the outside. And then when we open it up, this is how it will look on the inside and I will sign it. So there is our doily card where we were able to use one of our little tassels. 
Okay friends, so another thing I'd like to do is I would like to give the, the recipient of this card a coordinating altered paper clip. And since these tassels were hooked onto the pillowcase, there's already this little hook of fabric here. I don't know if you can see it. I'll try to turn the camera so that maybe you can. Anyway, you can kind of see it sticking out here. So I'm gonna take my paper clip and I will put this through that little extra piece of fabric and then wind that around. And that's it. I mean, it's it's truly as simple as that. And then if I want to make sure that it kind of like stays up in the top, I can use some washi tape. Let me see if I can find a pretty coordinating Valentine's washi tape. Oh, I have like this soft pink. That might be more in keeping with our, you know, kind of the feeling we have going on. Yeah, let's use the soft pink. And I'm just gonna wrap it around the top of this. And that way, like I said, it'll keep the tassel at the top. And I'm gonna wrap it around several times. And since I don't trust washi tape, I put a little dab of glue right here. And now I'm gonna close up the washi tape. And at least that glue will hold it permanently in place. And there we have our very simple altered paper clip. So I wouldn't expect the person to use it with this card, but just to show you, uh, how we would use it is you can you know use it in your planner or um, uh, to hold a book page or whatever but there it is isn't it so cute so these will go together in a package that I send off to someone for Valentine's Day all right so now I'm gonna work with a different doily this one I also coffee dyed this one does have a little bit of a tear in it not sure why that might have happened during the dyeing process you know sometimes when the papers are wet it makes them pretty delicate, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and use this eco dyed paper that I did. It's pink paper, but it also has these interesting striations from the tulip and it looks very aged. So we're gonna go ahead and tear some of that and use that. Thinking maybe I kind of want it to be in a circle too. So let's just tear this. And I like that, I think that's great. You know, it definitely looks old, so we're gonna go ahead and glue that into place. And what I'm gonna do, since this is a doily, and it's quite apt for the glue to seep through, I'm just gonna put some little spots here and there around it. Let's start with that and see if that will hold everything down okay. Now I'm gonna flip it over, and I'm actually gonna press from this side, but I'm gonna do it carefully. But I'm gonna do that so that, yeah, I'm gonna do it with my fingers actually. I'm doing it like that so that, cause I know the glue is gonna seep through. So I'll just do it carefully with my fingers. And then if I need to add glue elsewhere, I'll do that. But we're just gonna start like this. Let's decide what we're gonna do with the outside of the card. So I remembered that I had some pink doilies, so we are gonna go ahead and use that right on the outside, and then that'll help protect this torn area as well. This is dry enough to work with now, and so I went ahead and I creased it, and I think that what we'll do is we'll have it open like this as opposed to the side because I feel like I have more space to work with if I do it like that. And I was thinking of putting this card here, but I didn't really like the shape of that. But I have some other ones like this. That might look good. I have all of these for choices. Oh, hold on, I might have more. Oh, that might be really pretty because it's got the the flower on it. If I'm gonna use a tassel, oh, that's kind of cute, actually. Um, I also have this lighter shade, which matches this better. Okay, let's go with the lighter shade. So let's do that. Look how cute that is. I will use my fabric tack for this one, and I will use my Aileen's Tacky Glue for that one. Look how cute that is. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and do the coordinating altered paper clip. So here is our cute little set that we have. We've got our altered paper clip with the tassel, and then we have our Valentine greeting with the tassel, and then I will write something inside on this eco-dyed paper that I created. So I made some Valentine's Day cards. So here's a small one that I made out of cardstock, and I put this little envelope on the front then put this little 
thing inside. It's blank inside, but I'll be filling that out later. And then with this one, I attached this little altered paper clip and there's a little donut on here. I actually got that from BB Craft and it says love on it. And then there's this little tassel. So here's a card that I literally glued the tassel right onto it. We open it up. And here is the accompanying altered paper clip. So that matches. This card I made with coffee dyed graph paper and added a book page and then this little Valentine's piece. When we open it up, I have a doily here and I'll be attaching this little altered paper clip with it. Here we have a card with swans on it. It says love you lots over here with this little yellow tag. And I created this altered paper clip to go with it. Here's a card I made out of scrap paper and I, well, scrapbook paper, I should say, and then I did have some scraps that I used because they coordinated. And then I embellished the inside just a little bit. And then I created this little altered paper clip to go with it. Here we have this one, and I just embellished the inside with a little bit of washi tape. And then I made this clip to go with it. I think this is one of my very favorite ones. I had this paper, but Annie Creates gave me this beautiful piece here. And then I had this sticker, and it all just goes so well together. Embellished the inside with a little bit of washi. And then this will be the coordinating tassel. Paper. Here we've got this one. I used a scrap of paper and embellished it with a little bit of fabric and um, this little piece. It's, it's like a die cut, but it's it's paper. And then embellished the inside with that. And then this will be the coordinating paper clip. Oops, this is the same scrapbook paper from the one I just showed you. But I had coffee dyed some paper and then while it was wet I stamped it with this butterfly stamp and then I cut that out and put it on the scrapbook paper, embellished the inside just with a little torn piece of paper and this will be the accompanying tassel paper. This one's a little bit different. I used a piece of music paper. This was gifted to me and I put a coffee dyed doily on top. A little washi tape here. This is a piece from a Graphics 45 um, scrapbook paper set. And then inside, this is also Graphics 45. And then I had this from, I cut out from some Valentine's paper. And then this will be the coordinating paper clip. And this washi tape matches this washi tape. So here I've got something a little bit different. I had purchased at the thrift store a cute little outfit and it was pink and white polka dots. So I cut the pocket out of it. And so inside of the pocket, I slid a card. I haven't filled it out yet, but here it is. We have our coordinating paper clip here. And then when we open it up, I've just embellished it with just a little decorative piece of scrapbook paper. And for this one, this one's also a little bit different. This was a piece of scrapbook paper. I put washi tape here, a pink doily here, and then cut out a saying from another piece of scrapbook paper. Filled a little bit of it out here, but if I want to write more, I can do that on the back. So this doesn't open, it's just a card like that. And then here is the coordinating paper clip. And lastly, we have this one. This is another doily um, card that I made. And I put another doily on top and then Graphics 45 scrapbook paper. And then I just added a few things inside, a little space that I can write on. And this is the coordinating paper clip. And it also has a little donut and also a little tassel. So this is my Tassel Tuesday, something a little bit different this week. I really appreciate you being here and checking out my creativity. Thanks for watching. See you soon.